Good morning. This is Pearlie Martin at the track again trying to trim some fat. I dropped in to ask the question, do you know that unforgiveness is really a form of pride? Because when we exalt our will against God's will, we set ourselves up to be God. So when God says forgive and we refuse to forgive, we put ourselves at odds with God. So why is it so hard to forgive? The reason it's so hard to forgive is because you take it personal and you make it about you and you say, how dare they do that to me. Well, they did it to Jesus Christ. And you know, Jesus went about doing nothing but good. He didn't take the offense personal. And the way you can overcome the offense is when we don't take it personal. We must understand the fight. Ephesians 6 and 12 tell us we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? So uh, the first thing we must do is understand the fight, that my fight is not against this flesh and blood person, but it's a, it's against the enemy that's behind the scene instigating the whole entire thing. God had to give me revelation of this like maybe four years ago. And, and when he, when I wrote that book, Understanding Your Own Issues, I was taking other people's issues and I was making it personal. And the Lord said, what they got going on doesn't have anything to do with you. That what they're doing, they was like that before you met them. And the way they're behaving is coming out of what's already inside of them. Therefore, guard your heart for out of it flows the issues of your life. Therefore, guard your heart for out of it flows everything that you do. Everything that they're saying and doing, it has nothing to do with you. You don't even know them. I used to say, how can they not like me and not know me? Well, because that's what was inside of them. That had nothing to do with me. Um, so I was able to to see that. And as I began to see that, it really caused me to have compassion for the people because it showed me how miserable they were. And it reminded me of how the enemy was holding them hostage. Then I understood why Jesus said, pray for those that bless those that curse you. Why? Because they need, we need to pray for those that's cursing us because it's the devil that's holding them hostage. That's got them saying those evil things and acting that evil way. And really it, it gave me compassion because then I began to take it personal. How dare you say, you know, you're holding this person hostage. But it, it showed me how miserable they were. Because if you want to know what's inside of you, listen to what's coming out of you. It's out of the abundance of a man's heart that his mouth speaks. So now I say to you. Pray for you, excuse me, bless those that curse you and pray for your enemies because the enemy has got them hostage. But in some way, if you was at fault, ask them to forgive you and move on. It's nothing personal. When, when you mess up, it just simply means you're not perfect. So forgive. Don't, don't remain in that state of pride, of, of unforgiveness, exalting your will above God's will. And, and you know what? Uh, people say, well, everybody don't forgive. But God says you got 24 hours to get over it. You know, he says, don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Because even though it start off as a small thing, a little leaven leavens the whole lump. A small sin turns into a big sin. The longer you hold on to that unforgiveness, it grows into other things. It grows into bitterness. Bitterness grows into hate. Hate leads to murder. So don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Get it straight. You know, settle the issue today. Why today is called today? Because none of us will promise tomorrow. So don't get out of pride. It's not about what they did to you. It's about what they did for Christ. He said, if you choose to live for Christ, you're going to suffer persecution. You know, when Jesus was on that cross, he had did nothing. All Jesus did was went about doing good. And yet they persecuted him. They lied on him. They did all kinds of evil to him. He was, they, they crucified him because of what he stood for and the good things that he did. And even though Jesus was an innocent bystander and he hadn't did one thing wrong, he was on that cross and he said, Father, forgive them. But they don't even know what they're doing. Why was that? Because Jesus understood the fight. He understood that it was the enemy instigating the whole thing. That it was Satan that was telling those people to say those things. And it was the devil having those people to do those things. So if we can understand the fight, Ephesians 6 and 12, you won't take it personal. Don't make it about you. It's not about you. It's about the God inside of you. Even if the enemy is using someone to direct it at you, have compassion for that person. Understand the fight. Stand in the gap and pray for those. Then you can bless those that curse you knowing that it's not them, it's the enemy using them. But if, if somewhere along the way you can go to them to try to settle it or, you know, say, hey, you offended me or whatever, then that's good. But if not, in the meantime, you know, just continue to pray for that person, um, thanking and believing God for deliverance. Because you see, when you understand the fight, you, it's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. It's demonic. And um, you don't have to take on the offense. Just because an offense comes does not mean you have to take it on. Remember, if what they're saying about you is not what God is saying, then they're not even talking about you in the first place. It's nothing personal. It's demonic. So fight the good fight of faith. Hold fast to the confession of your faith. Your fight is not against the enemy because the enemy is already defeated. The fight is to hold on to what the Word of God say. So find out what the Word of God say about being offended. 
do what the word of God say. Because when we when we're at odds with God, when we won't when we're not doing what the word say, we're at odds with God. And that's nothing to play with because that's rebellion. So God says we have 24 hours to get over it. Don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. Settle your issues today and understand your own issues and other issues so you don't take other people's issues and make them about you. Understand the difference in that. If it's something you did, apologize. If it's something you didn't do, pray for them. You know, and I, I'm going to end it on this. You guys be encouraged. Have a wonderful, blessed, awesome day. My book is on Kindle right now. Um, Amazon. I have to re-upload it. Um, but order your order your copy today. Understanding your own issues and other issues. Dating identifiers. All my books are online at Amazon. You guys be blessed. Have a wonderful, awesome day. Keep looking for the good in your day so you can see God in your day.